But we are going to assume our responsibility. And we are going to assume our responsibility in this foreign affairs because we are aware of the changing world of today. If Europe wants to be relevant and not irrelevant, we have to move quicker now. And we have to move quicker first in our internal circle, in this enlargement process, because if we are stronger, if we are better, you know, consolidated the areas of uh, future membership of European Union, European gets always stronger. I mean, every enlargement makes the European Union stronger. It takes some time to adapt. But now we have uh, 27. But everybody agreed that the Western Balkans, they will be part of the European Union. Everybody agreed that why Iceland, after what they suffer, the normal thing that they will join the European Union. Not everybody, but the Spanish presidency agreed that Turkey should be part of European Union. <laughs> you imagine such a strong power European Union in this uh, changing world with Turkey, with the capacity, a strategic capacity of Turkey in the Caucasus, in Central Asia. It will be a added value, extraordinary, and bringing together and putting an end to the class of civilization, demonstrating that Islam and the West can live together if they respect the criteria and the rule of law, human rights, and all the universal values that we are defending. So the first circle will be to maintain the enlargement process. That should be the real challenge of a Spanish presidency to demonstrate that once we have put our house in order with the Lisbon Treaty, there is no more ontological discussion. We will uh, be or not be. Uh, <laughs> well, now we are Lisbon Treaty. OK. So we have a destitution. OK. So why we should close the door to other countries that are prepared and wants to be part for in the criteria of being European or being part of the family. But also the neighborhood is the second circle. And that has to be taken seriously. And Europe, the Spanish rotating presidency is going to take care. To the east and to the south. Of course, to the west is the transatlantic agenda and the new renewal of uh, relation between the United States and European <laughs> Union. And not the traditional summit. You know, the Americans get uh, not so enthusiastic about this EU-US summit. They think that we are not uh, you know, productive, that we are always trying to meet them, but with no concrete proposal. The Spanish presidency wants to put a concrete agenda for EU-US summit with deliverables, as the Americans like, and the Anglo-Saxon words always say, no? They said in Latin, we talk a lot, but we don't uh, act, no? Well, we want to demonstrate that we want facts hmm? and deeds. So we are going to put on the security and justice and home affairs, on trade and economic issues, on transport and communication. So areas that they will be attracted by in this new global economic uh, world where Europeans and Americans have to set the rule for a big single market. And they have also to think about how to help the poor countries, how the two-thirds of the GNDP, United States and European Union, have to look to the poverty in Africa, in Asia, in Latin America, and share the well-being with the people that are suffering and suffering hunger. So that is the agenda we want to, to send to our American friends in a complementary, in a new strategic uh, atmosphere. But to the east and to the south, of course, is the neighborhood of the European Union. And Spain is going to pay a 
tremendous attention to Eastern Partnership, a very young initiative, not even a year, and a lot of countries quite dynamic. And we will start with a seminar in Madrid, uh, the 27, and then followed by a meeting in Varsovia. So in order to identify projects and programs for the Eastern Partnership, and of course the Mediterranean, the Union for the Mediterranean, with a main target, no to have a summit for having a summit, but first to support the parties in the Middle East in order that they can re-engage uh, in this search for peace and can be done. There is a lot of pessimism in the European media and European uh, uh, think tanks everywhere. They think it's impossible. Forget about it. There will be never peace in the Middle East. It's false. It's going to be peace in the Middle East. We need peace in the Middle East. We need that Israel and Palestinians succeed. And we are quite close, thanks to the American efforts and some Arab state efforts, and also with the support of the European Union. And the Spanish national rotating presidency will also support that. And I'm sure we will get to that, because we have to prepare ourselves to give an answer if Iranians doesn't have a clear response to the international community. But if we move to the, some progress in the Middle East, we will have a successful summit in Barcelona of Union for the Mediterranean with a different approach, a different atmosphere. So that is a neighborhood. That's the family first, neighborhood, transatlantic, but then the main actors of the world, the one emerging countries like, of course, uh, Russian Federation that has this situation now between China and European Union. What is going to be the future of uh, Russia Federation? We will make Russia Federation closer to European Union, or we will consider that uh, it doesn't reflect or doesn't need to engage in a new partnership with European Union. And for that, uh, liber visa liberalization and a new Ener energy cooperation have to be settled between Russia and European Union. Of course, uh, as I told you, other main actors like Japan in Asia, China, deserve a clear strategy of European Union. I'm not going to go through all these uh, countries and actors, but of course let me put an end on this uh, very brief uh, review of the international geography. Africa, that is uh, being uh, absent in the European strategy for many, many years. But Africa is our neighbor. Of course, it's neighbor of Spain. Even the other day, I have a dinner with the African ambassador, and they say, well, Spain is Africa, because the friend used to say, Africa starts from the Pyrenees. Well, I said, <laughs> we are Europeans. Hmm? <laughs> but of course, we are neighbor to Africa continent. And Africa is in a total uh, process of, uh, of change, of asking for protagonism. And we have to prepare the third summit between EU and Africa after Lisbon summit. And that is going to take place under the Belgian presidency. How we are going to go there? To Cairo or to Tripoli? I don't know yet. With empty handed? With uh, political declaration? How is going to be the answer for fighting poverty in Africa? We cannot uh, really think about a European uh, Marshall Plan for economic recovery of Africa. We should do something, because migration and security, Al-Qaeda movement in the Sahel, that's all the real threat and security for all of us. And of course, if Africa is our neighbor, the great neighbor for Spain, but for the whole European Union is Latin America and the Caribbean. And well, it's a sense of frustration for a Spaniard to see that gradually Latin America has been uh, being distanced by the interests of European Union. 